Plant hybridization is the process of crossbreeding plants between genetically unsimilar parent plants in order to create a hybrid. It creates polyploid offspring. Polyploidy is when a plant or animal has more than two sets of chromosomes. Plants hybridize much more than animals do. Pollen from flowering plants disperses widely and may land on flowers of another species. Hybridization was the basis of Gregor Mendel's historic experiments with garden peas. Inheritance studies require crossing plants with contrasting or complementary traits. The concept of hybrid vigor or heterosis resulted from hybridization. Heterosis occurs when the hybrid outperforms its parents for a certain trait. Around, 70, around 1761, Joseph Gottlieb Kohlruder was the first to report on hybrid vigor in interspecific crosses of various species of Nicotiana. He concluded that cross-fertilization was generally beneficial and self-fertilization was not. In 1799, T.A. Knight conjectured that because of widespread existence of cross-pollination, of cross-pollination in nature, it must be the norm. Uh, Charles Darwin reported the results of his experiments with maize. He indicated that in 24 crosses, there was an increase in plant height, which was attributed by hybridization, and that decrease in plant height was associated with self-pollination. He also noted that crossing of inbred plants could reverse the the deleterious effects of selfing or inbreeding. In 1862, Darwin wrote, Nature, tell, Nature tells us, in the most emphatic manner, that she abhors perpetual self-fertilization. In the late 1800s, William J. Beale evaluated hybrids between maize varieties. He observed that many hybrids yielded 50% more than the mean of their parents. S.W. Johnson provided an explanation for hybrid vigor in 1891. G.W. McClure reported in 1892 that hybrids between maize varieties were superior to the, to the mean of the two parents. Plant hybridization is used in many, in many different farms because some hybridized crops outperform the other crops and therefore just making better food. However, although there are a lot of pros at... For example, you know, it outperforms, it can grow better in like worse weather, or it can grow better in droughts, it can grow earlier like in the winter. However, at the same time, it is much, much more expensive than just using the natural, than just using what's natural. So uh, yeah, there's plant hybridization.